the final seconds now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And liftoff, liftoff of NOAA's GOES T, our newest weather sentinel in the sky to help keep us safe here on the ground. The final seconds now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And liftoff. Liftoff of NOAA's GOES T, our newest weather sentinel in the sky to help keep us safe here on the ground. The final seconds now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And liftoff. Liftoff of NOAA's GOES T, our newest weather sentinel in the sky to help keep us safe here on the ground. Five, four, three, two, one. And liftoff. Liftoff of NOAA's GOES T, our newest weather sentinel in the sky to help keep us safe here on the ground. Daryl, let's listen in as we listen to and get out of much of my head to Rob. Here's a good flight mission commentator. View has gone to post loop control. The final seconds now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And liftoff, liftoff of NOAA's GOES T, our newest weather sentinel in the sky to help keep us safe here on the ground. Hey, Daryl, let's listen in as we listen to you and get out of much of my head to Rob. Here's look good. Who's the flight mission commentator? View has gone to close loop control. Yardy 180 is now throttling down as expected. Engine response looks good. We are now 33 seconds into flight. Atlas is 3 miles in altitude, 0.9 miles downrange distance. Max Q, 48 seconds. Vehicle is now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. We throttle back those R Now 55 seconds into flight. Atlas is 7 miles in altitude, 4 miles downrange distance, traveling at 19. Backed off the throttle to reduce now the stress of the rocket. Now it's 75 flight. Atlas is 13 miles in altitude, 10 miles downrange distance, traveling at 2,700 miles per hour. Come now at 90 seconds, seconds into flight, ULA's Atlas V rocket weighs now just one half of what it did at launch, burning propellants at a rate of more than 2,600 pounds per second. In 10 seconds, those solid rocket motors on the side will cut. SRBs have burned out as expected, and we see a good SRB jettison. Clear shot of those Vehicle SRBs. Vehicle now executing closed loop steering. The final seconds now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. And liftoff. Liftoff of NOAA's GOES T, our newest weather sentinel in the sky to help keep us safe here on the ground. Hey, Daryl, let's listen in as we listen to and get out of much of my head to Rob. Here's look good. Who's the flight mission commentator? View has gone to close loop control. Yardy 180 is now throttling down as expected. Engine response looks good. We are now 33 seconds into flight. Atlas is 3 miles in altitude, 0.9 miles downrange distance. Thanks, Q, for 48 seconds. 
We have passed through Mach 1. The vehicle is now passing through Max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. Throttle back those R Now, 55 seconds into flight, Atlas is 7 miles in altitude, 4 miles downrange distance, traveling at 1,900 miles per hour. RD-180 is now throttling back up. Come now at 90 seconds, seconds into flight, ULA's Atlas V rocket weighs now just one half of what it did at launch, burning propellants at a rate of more than 2,600 pounds per second. In 10 seconds, those solid rocket motors on the side will cut off. The final seconds now, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And liftoff, liftoff of NOAA's GOES T, our newest weather sentinel in the sky to help keep us safe here on the ground. Hey, Daryl, let's listen in as we listen to uh, United Launch Alliance with Rob. Here's look good. View has gone to close loop control. The RD-180 is now throttling down as expected. Engine response looks good. We are now 33 seconds into flight. Atlas is 3 miles in altitude, 0.9 miles downrange distance. Thanks, Q, for the seconds. We have passed through Mach 1. The vehicle is now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. They throttle back those RD Now, 55 seconds into flight, Atlas is 7 miles in altitude, 4 miles downrange distance, traveling at 1,900 miles per hour. RD-180 is now throttling back up. They backed off the throttle to reduce the stress of the rocket. Now, at 75 seconds Atlas is 13 miles in altitude, 10 miles downrange distance, traveling at 2,700 miles per hour. Come now at 90 seconds, seconds into flight, ULA's Atlas V rocket weighs now just one half of what it did at launch, burning propellant at a rate of more than 2,600 pounds per second. In 10 seconds, those solid rocket motors on the side will cut off. Beautiful shot from space. SRBs have burned out as expected, and we see a good SRB jettison. Clear shot of those Vehicle SRBs. Vehicle is now executing closed loop steering. Here in a few seconds, they're going to throttle Vehicle, back up. Vehicle performance looks good at this time. Now 135 seconds into flight. The RD-180 has throttled down slightly. Vehicle performance continues to look good at this time. Tank pressures are stable and Atlas booster battery voltages remain in their expected ranges. Now the upper stage is preparing for its use. Centaur reaction control system is now pressurizing the flight levels. Now that we jettisoned the payload fairing, which uh, protects GOES T at 3 minutes and 30 seconds. We have just over one minute until BECO. We're now seeing uh, the RD-180 throttle limiting to maintain a 2.5G acceleration limit. Standing by for payload fairing jettison. And we've seen a successful payload fairing jettison. Good shot of those fairings. RD-180 is throttled back up now. Okay. 
and the vehicle has reached a 4.6G acceleration limit and will maintain this level through BECO. And you're looking at animation now. We've seen that the Centaur has begun its boost phase chill down sequence. 